Hello and welcome to the Zarios Phone Manager 4 preview. Um, I'm going to take you through uh, the new software released 2014 uh, to replace Phone Manager 3. Um, so to start with, I'm going to show you on my screen the new look and feel. Uh, what we have here is the uh, a bit more of a new iOS, kind of Windows 8 style uh, screen. Um, nice new colors, nice new layout, uh, much, a much, much fresher look. We have an improved contact search, so we can type in uh, quite context sensitive uh, letters and words, and it'll automatically look up your uh, contacts within either your global directory or your with, uh, Microsoft Outlook contacts. Um, when you uh, find your contact, all you need to do is initially click and dial. We have centralized deployment with Phone Manager 4, which means using the new Zarios communication server, you can now centrally control all the settings um, within the Phone Manager on the client desktop. So what that allows you to do is deploy it much, much quicker uh, and centrally control any changes. So if you want to change any look and feel, any toolbars or anything like that, you can do all that from the desktop, one push, and the whole organization can potentially change. One really nice feature we have, obviously, with um, Phone Manager uh, being released in 2014 is support for Windows 8. Uh, so full support for Windows 8, 64-bit uh, is uh, no problem at all. Uh, one thing I do really like what uh, Zarius have done with the um, uh, Zarius uh, Phone Manager 4 is to build in a, a built-in SIP phone client. Um, and what a SIP phone client is essentially a, a phone built into the PC screen. So using the software you can actually uh, potentially make a call um, and receive a call without the need of a Mitel telephone on your desk uh, which is very very useful certainly if you're a remote worker or a laptop user and you're roaming about all over the place in hotels in cafes and that type of thing and you want to stay connected to the the business telephone system naturally staying connected to the business telephone system means that all the call reporting, all the recording, all the features and functionality that the company's invested in uh, subsequently passes across to you wherever you are. Um, later on, uh, I believe Zarios are also releasing a smartphone app, so you'll also have that SIP phone client functionality, not just built into a laptop, you'll also be able to build it into your smartphone, so whether that be an Android or an Apple iOS-based uh, mobile phone, you'll be able to connect in from that device seamlessly with all the features and functionality of your Mitel phone system. So, just gonna move around. Uh, we're gonna show you the presence. Uh, as you can see here, I have my presence screen. Um, I've got my, some favorites on here, and I can quite easily customize this and add new people in. Um, it's certainly, as you can see me hovering over, it's click and dial, so if I wanted to dial Anna, it's literally a quick click away and instantly the status changes and she goes red showing that she's busy. Down in the right hand side you can see this toaster uh, style pop-up giving me all the call information that I'm looking for and that changes uh, dynamically based on the type of call coming in. There we go. So we can in here we can have extensions, we can have agents, we can have hunk groups, uh, we can have speed dial contacts personal contacts, uh, you can pretty much put whatever you want in there in terms of um, your day-to-day -day contacts. And you can sort them into various departments. We can sort them into sales, engineering, um, marketing, um, or we can have suppliers, customers, VIP customers, that type of thing in there. Um, another look and feel uh, change has been obviously to get um, more icons on the screen we can sort it a little bit easier now and we can have it in a nice table format uh, and again all the icons change uh, but you also get a few more columns of information so potentially um, if Anna's on the phone it will show um, red if uh, an agent's busy and that type of thing it will show red and uh, I think if they're in do not disturb it goes blue um, showing that they're not available so again, just some nice uh, changes to a look and feel. They have simplified it quite somewhat. Um, everything is based around uh, Microsoft SQL again. So uh, if you do want to add any contacts into the database, it's really, really easy using uh, 
some basic SQL uh, methods. Okay, so moving on to the next stage, I'm going to show you how to uh, search and dial those contacts. Uh, what we can do here, if we right click the screen, we get some call control options. So we can dial, uh, we can also retrieve our voicemail. If I've got the correct uh, rights and privileges within the system, I can also listen uh, and silent monitor uh, particular people within my de department or team. Um, if I wanted to look up uh, an internal extension number, uh, quite straightforward. And live, it comes straight up and says all of the leases within my building. And then I can dial them whether they're on the mobile or whether on the, their fixed extension or their agent ID within the call center. Also in here, if I wanted to manually dial a number, I can do that and then just hit enter. And what that does is then Thank brings up my... So you can see down in the bottom right hand screen now, I have a call um, held on my extension and I can make more than one call at a time if I wanted to. And that allows me to handle multiple calls uh, and also transfer those calls through to other people. So I could uh, transfer that to 200. I can also send incoming calls to voicemail. I can also add new contacts, which I quite like, to the central database, which I think a lot of users have been looking for. Um, so if I dial my DDI, just from my mobile, so I answer that call, it's already shown up my name because my name's in the uh, global system directory already. But if I wasn't in there and you saw a contact that you wanted to add in, then it's quite easy just to click add contact and I could put in, you know, John Smith uh, and click save and that would add it instantly to my global system directory so everyone in the business and organization can access those contacts and the next time that person calls in it will show that on the display at the same time so that's a really nice feature um, what we can also do with those is sync that with Microsoft Outlook if you've got the appropriate license so again full Microsoft Outlook integration either uh, yes the next tab along we have is call history, um, which again, basic personal call history. The red indicates a, a missed call, and the inbound and outbound represents uh, the direction of the telephone call. So again, you can see a few sample calls in here. Uh, if it does recognize the, the name, it will put that in there for you. Um, or, and if you've got the call recorder integration, you can potentially click and play that call back uh, historically through the call recording feature that Zarius has as well. So again, basic call history. I'm sure that Zarius is going to build some more features into that, um, but that's what most people are looking for. Okay, um, what we have across the top, I'm just going to take you through uh, the buttons around the top. We have um, the Do Not Disturb button. So that basically pulls all the do not disturb reason codes from your phone, Mitel phone system automatically. And you can put your phone in do not disturb and customize the text. So I can say on holiday oh, until Monday. On holes. Okay, so that would put my phone instantly in Do Not Disturb, and it tags the message on the display. So when people dial me internally, they, they'll see my custom message. If I want to take that off, I just click it once, nice and easy. Um, the next one along is, again, if I'm an agent uh, associated with some uh, home groups within the business, i.e. the sales team or the customer service team, I can log into those home groups to receive those types of calls. So that's ideal for contact centers, customer service teams, sales teams, uh, technical support teams, that type of thing. But instantly you can take yourself in and out of groups quite easily just with a click of a mouse. Next one I have is a voicemail button. If I see any voicemails, I can just click and go straight to voicemail. 
nice and easy. The live dial pad is quite useful, certainly if you're sitting back in the chair and you're sitting in auto attendance or IVRs and you need to type in numbers, you can just click the buttons on the screen and that will push those straight to the, the telephone call that you're on. We have a forward button. Uh, this obviously allows us to forward all our calls. So certainly if I just wanted to forward all my calls to my mobile, I could click forward all calls, put in my mobile number, hit enter, and now I'm forwarding all my calls as you can see up here. So that's nice and easy and great for users that are in and out of the office and moving around that type of thing. We have client messages, which I've not got enabled currently. Um, but then again, the next one along is toolbars. So if I'm a member of a team that has allowed toolbar, that will essentially bring out uh, a, a, a row of buttons that have been associated with me. And that's particularly useful if you need more buttons on the screen or you're within a contact center and you need to put reason codes in for the type of calls you're making and that type of thing. Um, so there's lots of features available there. The toolbar feature is, I believe, uh, you have to be a professional license for that. And then you can see the next five hotkeys underneath. Now these are fully customizable. There are only five, but they're for the most commonly dialed features and contacts that you need on your screen. So for example, I've put our service department on there. I've put our sales team, marketing team, and accounts. So these just dial home group numbers. So I can show you if I just right click and do edit that literally it will just dial out the home group number for our sales team. But if I wanted to put my home number in, I could put eight, oh, one, two, eight, two, da, 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 and put that number in there. So also one thing we can do with these fast access keys or hotkeys is put feature in underneath if we wanted to. So a feature code on the Mitel systems, we could call that uh, record call. And under the feature code, I think that's 305. And I don't think we need any feature code parameters. Then all I do while I'm on a live call is click that button. So um, there are a few new other features coming through, um, but basically this is the end of my uh, preview. Um, I really, really like the new Home Manager 4, so if you're looking to upgrade from version 3 to version 4, please get in touch with us. Thank you.